Have you ever wondered what happens to the tools that you return to Home Depot? So most of us probably have an uncle or a family member who's bought a tool, used it for a job, returned it, or has suggested that to you. I'm not saying to do that, but those tools have nothing wrong with them, and they don't always go back on the shelf. They go to liquidation companies, and then you can buy them by the pallet. So this is from liquidation.com, and I bid on the pallet because it said DeWalt, Ryobi, I think there's some Milwaukee in here. I think I only know of like one or two of the things in here. I didn't look very deep into it, so I'm super stoked to crack into it and see how good these returns actually are. So the listing for this sucker claims that it's worth $2,614. Just by judging on like two of the tools, I think it's definitely there. Secondly, I paid $1,475 bucks for this pallet. Got into a bidding war literally in like the last minute with some dude. Regardless, 43% savings on the retail value of these items. After shipping, I think I was right around 2,000 bucks. So let's crack into these things, see how good a condition they are, and also see if I got my money's worth. So for those of you that don't know, and I bet most people don't, Jordan actually worked at a big tool company before he worked here, and is actually an aficionado when it comes to tools. So he's gonna be one, getting the prices for us on retail, and then two, helping me to figure out what tools are broken and which aren't. So let's crack this sucker open right off the bat. The top, we've got some yellow. And this sucker is definitely open. We're gonna save that to last though, because I think that's the biggest ticket item. I think there's a bunch of Ryobi, a couple DeWalt. Yeah, oh yeah. Ooh, Whoa. mystery Home Depot box. This is like freaking Christmas for me. We've got three of these bug zappers. <laughs> How much is a bug zapper worth? This one's definitely was opened. You got a rip on the front of the box. So when you buy these, you don't know what condition they're coming in, which is, something that I think has both sides to it. No battery. Wow. What? I think yes. $83. Close, 99. 99 bucks. So we got 300 Three right of there. them. Cha-ching. They look like they're in solid shape. Oh, oh, oh. Is that a used one? Heck, used. That one's definitely used. Look at the bugs that came out of it. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is like, Jordan, I would guarantee someone bought this, took it on a camping trip, and then how took it home. How'd you even get bugs out of it? Because it fell on me. It's gross. Oh, there's like, yeah, how'd like you this open thing's that? dirty. How'd you open that? How'd I open what? There's like cardboard in the center of this one. I didn't open anything. Oh. Someone used this sucker. Oh, shit. I guess this one oh, works. Here we go. This one's brand new. Don't okay. don't take that off then. We're gonna give these away. We'll tell you how we're gonna give them away later in the video. So this is an impact driver. It's the Ryobi 1 HP. Actually, a lot of guys are loving their HP line now, but yeah, another tool, like check her out. A little bit of dings. It was definitely, someone definitely used this and then sent it back. Does she run? I will always say, I'm not a fan of stick batteries, but they do stand up quite nice. How much she worth, Jordan? $99. 99 bucks. Same as the bug zapper, very interesting. So we're at 400. That might have been like an impact leftover, like when they do like the Christmas specials, they're like 99 bucks. Oh, a little fan, we have one of these. We have a, we have a rigid, rigid one. I love little stuff like this. It's nice, you can plug it in the back, see if she works. Ooh. Got a little hook here. Some people screw them into the ceiling. They yeah, might be able to use that in the uh, PNC room. <laughs> yeah, like a hundred. What's it worth? 59. 59 bucks. It's the Whisper series. We are at... 459. Get a calculator out on that. Okay, that's not English. Okay, so this thing is the dual rotating high pressure water jet. Okay, this is used with their electric pressure washer. Uh, oh, you probably use it with the DeWalt one. Yeah, they're neat. What's it worth? We don't have the other tool. This one's still right. We actually have one of these in my deck. Well, not that one. We have cool? like, yeah, like concrete cleaner. That one was wrapped. This one, yeah, they're both in plastic still. So, I mean, they're pretty cool. They work, uh, they work great for power washing like sidewalks. Yeah. I'm gonna I mean, keep it wrapped up nice because we can't test it, so no need to take it out. All right, last Ryobi tool. We've got oh, the- Oh, we could have used that the other day. The tool only dual function inflator deflator. I might keep this one for me. I have the DeWalt one. I can, you can do tires and you can do, like you said. Inflate or deflate. How quiet is it? Not quiet. Ooh, I got a basketball hoop. Yeah, and your bike tires. Yeah, and your bike it's tires. Because it's for the Presto valve. So this is cool. I like this. What's this thing worth? $69.97. $69.97. Debit or credit? <laughs> There's more Ryobi. Oh yeah, this is Ryobi. Uh oh, bring oh. it over. What did we got here? Oh, oh, oh. I think I know. I think it's a vacuum. Oh. Boy, look at this thing. <laughs> we could use this for the office. This is definitely an office. It came with a battery. Sure did. That's not, that's awesome. Oh, 
Oh, sun, sun, let's go. Oh, mystery box. This is, oh, oh okay. Oh, God. Ryobi stuff keeps popping up, so. Ah, that's exactly where I wanted that to go. These are worth a lot. Chargers? They're worth a lot. Chargers? I have like 80. They go for like 100 bucks. Really? Alone, a standalone like that? Yeah. I've got. How much you want? I bet that's like 100. You bet it's 100? Yeah. But you're much smarter, it's not. Huh? No, in that company, they like to charge the innocent, hardworking man more than they should. Okay. <laughs> 169. Oh! Get out of here. What? Yeah. Told you. Wow, I owe you lunch tomorrow. That is, uh, that's absurd. So we've got this supercharged 4X uh, Milwaukee charger. Oh boy, look at these, Tyler. Oh, oh, <laughs> don't put those on. How can you even return? No. no. <laughs> look at these things. <laughs> they were 100% worn. Oh yeah, now you can see it. They're gross. You see this? Yeah. 20 bucks. 20 bucks, okay. The 23 piece cobalt drill bit set. See, we actually like these. So we, we buy these, we use these. In that is a good set. 24.97, five piece router. All right, this one's 20 bucks. That's crazy, $20. $23 for the this two and a half inch bulldozer. This open. What is that bad boy? Diamond, two and a half inch porcelain tile and stone dozer. 15 bucks, okay. Someone stole the bits. <laughs> Look, there's no bit in this slot, no bit. It could have fallen out in packaging. Like who steals one bit? A lot of people. That's like $10 probably. It's 15, so we had one, two, three, four, five. Oh, five, nope, no one stole anything. It's still perfectly good. I'm just an idiot. Bump feed trimmer head, very specific. 33 bucks. Oh, $21.97 for the standard all purpose kit for like a Dremel multi-tool. 90 bucks. Chargers and batteries are expensive. And we got two of those. 19.98 for the two-in-one pivoting fixed line and bleeded head. All right, then we got 160 bucks on this sucker with the charger. What's funny is you said that Milwaukee one's 150 bucks for just the charger. And that one comes with the battery. This is a dual fast charger. And I think this one plugs, that Milwaukee one plugs into a truck outlet, like a cigarette outlet too. So uh, you can have it in your truck. This is a car adapter. And then this is 40 bucks. So this Milwaukee SDS Plus Sledge Steel Sledge Mortar Knife Chisel Bit, 2097. They sell pre-cut trimmer line. Come on, 1497. Need some big ticket items. Yeah, we've got them. And this is why I bought the pallet. It's because this sucker's not open, so we're not gonna open it. Because we're gonna give it away to one of uh, you guys on Black Friday. So make sure you're subscribed to our email list. There's a link down below. You can head to johnmalecki.com, get signed up there. Super easy. But on Black Friday, we're giving away everything you see here, pretty much. Make sure you're signed up for those alerts, and two, keep being awesome. Look up the price on this, Jordan. This is unopened. I don't think we're gonna have any issues with it. It was probably just like a return. $3.99. $3.99? Yeah. This though. So we've got the one with the- Rolling stand. The rolling stand that weighs 113 pounds. And my concern is that it is open. And so- It looks pretty good. What could be missing is the- Maybe that's the saw. We gotta take it out. Can't go giving it away. I mean, it looks pretty solid. I forgot how big that saw is. It weighs 113 pounds. It just said that on the box. Well, that's what the stand. I think it's good. I thought they'd steal, they'd steal the blade. <laughs> no, it's in there. No, the blade's in there? Yeah. Because I definitely thought they would steal the blade. Let me look up what this sucker's worth. I already did. 650. 650. $2,703.33. Total retail value with only one dud in the pack. This is our only dud. Mm -hmm. And if you want these, just shoot me a DM. But all in all, I think this is a hell of a haul. I spent roughly $2,000 to get this thing shipped here. Saved about 700 bucks. I think both of these are totally worth it. I could probably, if I had a little store or something, I could sell a bunch of that. I could sell that stuff on eBay. But like I said, I'm gonna be giving it away to you guys on Black Friday. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. One, two, getting alerts. Three, sign up for the email list. And if you wanna see more ridiculous videos, you gotta watch this playlist right here.